if God, God sent the Son, the Son also sent the Holy Spirit. God, uh, nevertheless, this is Jesus talking in John 16. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It, it is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. Of sin, because they do not believe in me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father and you see me no more. Of judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. Okay, so the first thing that the Holy Spirit convicts us, us is sin. And notice it says that you do not believe in me, Jesus said. So it's not the sin of you do this or that, that or this and this or the other. It's that you don't accept Jesus. That's what he convicts the world of. So, you know, we, we have a law in Oasis County, obviously, right? If, we, if you break the law, you go to court, you're guilty, you're going to pay the penalty for it. That's just how it goes. You can't tell the judge, yes, I, I shot this person or whatever it is, but I've never robbed a bank. I've never done this before. I've never done that. You're not there to say you're good or you're bad. You're there to pay for the penalty, the law that you've broken. God has a law, and his law is perfect. And um, we've all... I mean, if, if you've ever, his, his Ten Commandments, have you ever lied? Have you ever stolen? Have you ever done any of these things that everybody have, has done? So we're all stand guilty before him. The Bible says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So we stand in court and we're completely guilty and there's nothing that we can do. Jesus walks into the courtroom and says, I paid, the, the, it's, it's been paid, it's finished. Now, it says... He who believes in him is not condemned. That's you receiving the gift from him, him taking your place. But he who does not believe is condemned already. You're already condemned and he came to save you because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. The word believe, it means to put your confidence in. It's not just in belief because James says that the demons believe and tremble. So it's putting your faith in him. Um, it also says in uh, John three thirty six, he who believes in the Son has everlasting life. He who does not believe the Son of the, the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides in on him. And the reason why it abides on you is because if he walked into the courtroom and he said, "I paid your fine," and you say, "No, no, thank you, it, it's okay, I reject your offer," the wrath of God was poured out on him on the cross. And if you tell him that, well, you still owe the penalty, so the wrath of God abides on you. So the Holy Spirit convicts the world of, of sin because they do not believe in him. Of